Hello everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret, and welcome back to another educational video of WikiHow. Been a while, hasn't it? And I know, you guys probably even forgot about WikiHow. Good for you, but not me. No, 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 I can never forget about WikiHow. It's because of you people. You people who keep leaving me mean comments on my old WikiHow videos. Like I didn't follow the instructions correctly. I'm too old to be playing Nerf, go play Airsoft. Yeah, but there's one in particular. One video that stands out from all the rest, it's the video that YouTube decided the world should see, and it's the most viewed video on my channel, and the most disliked on my channel too. Thanks guys. And it of course is the infamous how to make a nerf gun out of household items. I filmed this video over two years ago, and yet still, people click on this video and get enraged when they discover that maybe I wasn't taking it super seriously. So here's what we're going to do today. We're going to revisit this article. It hasn't changed too much unfortunately. And we're going to go through the build process once again. I'm actually not going to change it because I hate you all. And we're going to tell you why it doesn't work. You can try along if you would like, and you have the materials. You should have them. They're household items. And then after that pain, we're going to actually cover some blasters you can make out of household items that work. How exciting. Before we get into that one though, this article, as I mentioned, has not been updated too much. Although, it has received a few more reviews, uh, for the worse, now has a 36% approval rating, but also has 19 co-authors, I have no idea what they added, and it hasn't been updated since the end of 2019. Now don't get me wrong, I like the premise of this article. Making a blaster out of household items could be fun. I'll consider it a little bit different than a homemade blaster, perhaps? Homemades have a little more history in the world of nerf modding, so household items just things that you can find around your house, cobble together and make a blaster. Not a bad idea. WikiHow doesn't execute it well though. That's the problem. Let's dive back in once again, one more time. This is how to make a Nerf gun out of household items, according to WikiHow. You will need a PVC pipe, two pieces are optional, a cardboard tube, the lid to a spray bottle, some tape, and of course, Nerf darts. Number one, get a cardboard tube and a PVC pipe. The pipe should be smaller than a Nerf dart. Number two, tape the Nerf dart at the front of the cardboard tube, leaving some of the dart sticking out. And pause. Let's pause it right there because I can hear some of you guys screaming already. Brett, you didn't do it the right way. You did it the same way as last time. Why would you do this to us? Free! But let's talk about these things because this is the most common complaint. These first two steps, honestly, are the most common complaints in my original review. The first one, of course, a PVC pipe that is smaller than a Nerf dart. Here's a Nerf dart. You. I don't know every size of PVC pipe out there, but when my mind thinks of PVC, half inch comes to mind. There are other sizes, of course, but can you name me a PVC pipe size that has a smaller outer diameter than the inner diameter of a Nerf dart? I don't think you can. They probably want a straw that's going inside of the Nerf dart. Now with my experience, with when I've seen blasters that have straws that poke into a Nerf dart, they usually, like a straw would, suck. Save the turtles. And of course in the article they don't specify what size of PVC either, so what am I supposed to do? Use a straw, go with that word, or go with a size of PVC? Well, I went with PVC because I know that half-inch PVC Nerf darts slide through really easily. So instead of putting something in the back, I just said we're going to have the dart slide through the PVC. And this makes it a bit redundant to have the cardboard tube. That's the next point. Is it really too weird that I would assume, or anyone else might assume, the cardboard tube might be like the size of a paper towel roll? So they actually want this to be what the Nerf dart goes through, so I'd have to like cut this and make it smaller. Why use that when I can just put the Nerf dart inside of very secure PVC? So cardboard tube is dumb, and it's redundant at this point, but that's me making an interpretation. Furthermore, it says in the second step to tape it at the front of the cardboard tube. In this case, it would be tape it at the front of the PVC pipe. They don't think that it's a good enough seal, so they're trying to create pressure by taping the dart and then having the end closed, or they're trying to keep it in place so it doesn't fall out. Someone decided that it was a good decision to tape it at the front. Does that answer your questions? No? All right, moving on. Number three, remove the lid from the cleaning product and spray all the liquid out. Number four, 
Make sure to keep the top part of the cleaning product to use as a trigger. Number five, create a hole in the cardboard tube that allows enough room to spray liquid. Number six, tape the rest of the lid on so that the PVC pipe and the trigger are about seven inches, 17.8 centimeters away from each other. Pause again. Now this is the most specific step in the article and it finally acknowledges that inside of the cardboard tube is supposed to be the PVC pipe. It didn't actually say that before, so good job. Now I don't understand why it's so specific with that seven inch distance. Wouldn't it be more important to specify for this nozzle that it's securely like fastened or taped to your, well they say cardboard too, but we're using PVC now. Doesn't this matter? Like having this connection secured would ensure that your airflow goes to the dart. But what do I know? They got like 19 co-authors. Number seven, add a piece of PVC pipe where you can to hold on to. Hey look, another mention of PVC pipe. So not this size most likely, but the size of a straw? Have fun gripping that. Number eight, place a nerf dart in the PVC pipe at the front of the gun. And number nine, pull the trigger, then let go completely. Oh no, it didn't work. How could I have gone so wrong? Well, up to this point, we know a few reasons for why that might be the case, but let's touch on some final reasons and close this sad story out. The first one, of course, once again, the PVC pipe, PVC pipe was not really noted as being attached to the spray nozzle. And in this case, yes, I more mean like the straw, but they would want to actually have that connected like with tape or something secure. On the picture, it shows around the cardboard tube, the outer unit that they wrapped tape, but I don't think that would be enough. But of course, of course, of course, the main reason, the main reason does have to do with the spray nozzle. This does not have enough power does not make enough airflow bruh, 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 bruh. to launch a dart. Bruh. It doesn't matter if you have something that has a streaming option or a spray option. None of them will have enough power to launch a Nerf dart. They did allude to possibly spraying liquid at one step. They said, you know, to clear it out and then you, you might actually use liquid. And some people asked before if that was supposed to be the case. Well, it obviously doesn't show in the final product. like. There's no liquid coming out, it's just air. Is uh, that gonna do the trick? Water? No. Not enough pressure built up with that water to actually launch a Nerf dart out of this. And furthermore, if you are going with the method that WikiHow describes, you have cardboard all around the unit. So as soon as that cardboard starts getting wet, it's done. But we can't completely abandon WikiHow without looking at some good old fashioned Q&A. And these are new ones since the last time I looked at the article. Community Q&A. How far does a Nerf gun out of household items fire? If you make it right, it can go up to 30 feet or so, which is impressive for a homemade blaster. Very impressive. Like I doubt that impressive. I don't believe that at all. Why should I tape the Nerf dart at the front of the Nerf gun? To see if the Nerf dart you have fits the tube so it can shoot. It ensures it lets airflow in the tube. Yeah, good attempt at answering that one, but nope, I don't believe that one either. Sorry. You keep saying that the PVC pipe should be smaller than a Nerf dart, but then you said that the Nerf dart should fit inside of it. Should it be smaller than a Nerf dart or big enough to fit one? The inside diameter of the PVC pipe should be smaller than a Nerf dart so it can pass through, not the outside. Wow, look at those not helpfuls. Nice. I love it. Glad to see that everyone who read this was pretty much confused and will never understand what the authors truly meant. Can I make the gun a sniper? Yes. Make the tube longer, add a scope, and voila! Done. Though if you do this, make sure the blast is more powerful. What size of PVC pipe do I need to make a Nerf gun? Any that looks smaller than a dart. Try to eyeball it. Don't overdo it though. If the pipe is too thin, it will quickly get bent. Well, yeah, you're not wrong, but good luck. But fear not. Four, we have our own brains and we can come up with things. And a lot of people correctly pointed out that one of the components of this blaster, if you even want to call it that, is the PVC pipe, not a straw. This half inch PVC works as a blaster in and of itself. Nerf even sells versions that are just repackaged and look a little nicer. But half inch PVC, put Nerf dart in, I just launched a dart. Now this length may not be ideal for launching darts far, but it still does the trick. But what if you didn't want to use your mouth? What if you wanted other people to use this? Well, I have a really quick trick for you guys 
that will actually work, not like WikiHow. Let's take a look. For this blaster, you will need half inch PVC, a compressible water bottle, scotch tape, stronger tape such as duck or duct tape, and of course, nerf darts. Number one, remove the water bottle cap. Number two, take a small piece of scotch tape and place it over half of one side of the PVC pipe. Number three, insert that end of the PVC into the water bottle. Number four, use a piece of tape to secure the PVC to the bottle. This should be relatively airtight and prevent the two pieces from separating. Number five, now insert a dart into the end of the PVC so that it drops all the way back. Note how the dart won't fall into the water bottle, nor will it fall out of the front. And number six, quickly squeeze the water bottle to fire the dart. The faster you squeeze, the farther it flies. And here it is. You probably shouldn't use it as a club yet, but this is the water bottle tube mod. It works just fine, honestly. It's a nice little alternative if you don't want to just keep blowing darts out of it. Now, unfortunately, as you crinkle the water bottle, the best way to reinflate it is to blow into the PVC pipe and, okay, great, now you're using your breath again like a blowgun. You can add some different lengths of PVC and you can load multiple darts. So that's kind of fun. It's obviously not super, super powerful, but you could replace this water bottle with other compressible hydration device and uh, get creative. I think there's something to be said about this design. It's simple, it's probably something you can build around your house, and even if you don't have a PVC pipe, I think you guys could come up with something that works just as well. That's a take on an air blaster, one that at least works better than what WikiHow came up with. But what about something that has just a little more power? Can, could we get something with a trigger that's reliable? Maybe not a springer, because springers are kind of hard to come up with with like really simple household items, but how about a stringer? How about a rubber band thing? How about something simple like that? I think we could do it. And someone actually did already. As I was bracking my brain for an idea, I did find something on not WikiHow, but of course Instructables, the paper Nerf gun crossbow. So I've condensed the instructions here. Follow along if you'd like to, and let's get building. For this plaster, you will need a hot glue gun with glue, four sheets of paper, a pair of scissors, scotch tape, and stronger tape, a clothespin, a rubber band, and of course, nerf darts. Number one, take one sheet of paper and, at an angle, roll it into a thin tube using tape to secure the end. Do this two times. For extra strength, roll the last two sheets of paper together as previously shown. Use scissors to cut the ends when complete. Number two, place your two thinner tubes side by side and use a hot glue gun to connect them together. Make sure to only use glue on one side. Number three, on the side with hot glue, take your third tube and place it uniformly across the other two, approximately two inches from one end. Use hot glue to secure it in place. Number four, use scissors to cut the rubber band. Take two pieces of tape and secure each end of the rubber band on the crossing tube. Make sure the rubber band sits in the side that does not have hot glue. Number five, add hot glue to one side of the clothespin and attach it to the center of the two connected tubes. Make sure it is attached on the side that does not have hot glue. And number six, now pull back the rubber band and catch it in the clothespin. Place your nerf dart in front of the rubber band and release the clothespin to fire. It is done, and I really like it. I think this is anything you could ever want out of a very straightforward household items blaster. And yes, you may not have access to everything on this list, but I think you could come up with some replacements if you really needed to. And honestly, it's not that bad. Like, I don't have the chronograph numbers for you, but 
it's not terrible, and you could probably make it even more powerful if you strengthen some of these components. One minor thing I did to improve this as well, in my opinion, because the setup as shown before, the darts will probably fall out on the sides. So what I did was I took a small piece of tape, I folded it over itself, and I put it on top of the clothespin. So now when I hold it and I move it a little bit, like a normal person might, it doesn't immediately fall off. And it's really simple. You, you watching this, go make one of these. I think it would be fun. Uh, send a picture of it to me on my email or my Instagram, Facebook, or tag me somewhere with it. I want to see what you guys make with these. Make them like extra long so you can fire multiple darts at once. Put more, like more of them together. Ooh. So you have like five of them in a row and just all release them at once. I think that would be really cool. It's harmless. It's fun to make. And it blows WikiHow's design out of the water. Thanks, WikiHow, you did nothing for us. And that's gonna do it for this day, everyone. This day of modding household items into Nerf blasters, for the most part. Thank you, everyone, for watching. If you liked this video, feel free to leave a like. And if you wanna see more WikiHow uh, videos, feel free to subscribe and you'll get one every year. <laughs> I swear I'll do another one soon. And maybe it'll be original this time, too. Thanks again, everyone. I'll see you later. Okay.